Hi, my name is Danny Brown. I'm the CEO of Myriad Real Estate Group. And today we're gonna to talk about the annual home maintenance that you should do on your home. I set this as a reminder for January every year and tend to do it depending on when New Year's falls, but the first Saturday of the month, uh, if New Year's falls on a Saturday and I'm not feeling like myself, I might push that off to Sunday or the following week, but setting a reminder on my calendar helps me make sure that I get all of this done. And if you haven't checked out our monthly home maintenance tips, definitely check that out for things that I recommend doing on a monthly basis. So the first thing you're want, gonna wanna do is drain your hot water heater on an annual basis. So again, we're in Arizona, our water has a high calcium content. And so the water that's going into the hot water heater tends to have a lot of calcium in it. And the way hot water heaters work, right, is it's filled with a ton of hot water and the hot water heater keeps it warm. And so there's water constantly moving around through that hot water heater. Well, that sediment will line at the bottom of your hot water heater. So you wanna drain all that water out, let all that sediment flow out on an annual basis. And typically the way to do that is you're gonna hook a hose up to the bottom of your hot water heater. So if you're ever curious on why a hot water heater has a hose bib on it, so it's gonna allow you to run the hose out to the gutter, to your lawn, your front yard, just run it away from your house because you are gonna be draining, you know, something like 50 to 70 gallons of water out of your hot water heater. And once it's drained, your hot water heater should automatically start to refill itself as well. This is also a really good time to check your water softener. So a lot of water softeners are designed to be drained on an annual basis as well. Definitely check your instruction manuals or call a plumber to have them come out to check those because every water softener has its different functions. Like the one that I have is zero maintenance. So working with a plumber or just reading the instruction manual on routine maintenance for those specific to your model. Next on our list, we're gonna to wanna to check for leaks uh, in your home. So that's gonna be traveling around and checking underneath your sinks. Um, I recommend on an annual basis turning all the valves. Again, Arizona has high calcium content and so it's not uncommon for the valves uh, to freeze. That's turning the water on and off. So on an annual basis for every sink and toilet you and your uh, washing machine, you should go and turn those valves to turn them off and then turn them back on just to make sure that they're not freezing in place. Uh, and then check for leaks while you're there, um, making sure that there's not a drip, you know, you're just touching it and making sure that there's no moisture there. Uh, that's gonna save you from mold and any long-term water damage by checking that on an annual basis. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to check is your refrigerator coils. Now this might be a little bit more labor intensive and you might need to recruit some help depending on your refrigerator, but that's gonna be pulling the refrigerator away from the wall. Most of the coils are behind the refrigerator and it gets uh, a lot of dust gets collected back there. If you have animals, you'd be shocked at how much pet hair gets back there and collected. So that's really easy to clean. You just take your vacuum cleaner with the little brush nozzle on it and vacuum that stuff off. Next, we'll talk about exhaust fans. So that's gonna primarily be your bathroom exhaust fans. We reference the kitchen exhaust fan on your hood in my monthly video, uh, but on your bathroom exhaust fans, you're gonna just wanna take the little cover off and clean it. You know, that's pulling uh, the air in the bathroom and putting it outside. So the hot air, it, and it's venting outdoors. So there's dust and particles that are just floating around in our air and that will start to accumulate on the cover and then get inside on the fan. So you wanna pull that off on an annual basis, clean the, the cover plate, wipe down the fan on the inside itself. Again, just use a dry rag uh, to wipe the stuff off the cover plate. You might need to actually wash it, which is totally fine. And then you just pop it right back into place. So next you want to check all the uh, tile and grout that are in your bathrooms for any cracking. So if you know the homes shift and move over time, we're on planet Earth and the Earth moves, unfortunately. So that can cause the grout and the tile in your showers and bathrooms to crack and move as well. So you want to make sure that that is sealed up properly on an annual basis because if water penetrates that, it gets underneath the tile, can get underneath the shower pan, and then that creates mold. 
Next, let's talk about your electrical items in your home. So you wanna to check to see if there's any exposed wiring. If you can get up into your attic crawl space and just kind of look around with a flashlight, I recommend doing that, just making sure that any of the uh, uh, connections for electrical are still connected. Uh, you're also gonna to wanna to check all your GFCIs. So there's little buttons on your GFCI outlets. You wanna trip those on an annual basis to make sure that those are still functioning. And then take a trip out to your electrical panel. You're gonna to wanna to trip all your circuit breakers on an annual basis and then turn them back on to make sure that they are still working and functioning properly. All right, next let's head outside. So these are gonna be items on the outside of your home that you're gonna to wanna to check on an annual basis. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to check the water main to your home. So again, I recommend turning that valve, making sure that that actually turns the water off to your home. That way in case of an emergency and you run outside to turn off the water to your home, it actually works. Uh, check it for leaks as well. Oftentimes you will start to see corrosion Again, our water is super hard, so the calcium may do the job for you and seal that leak, but if there is corrosion building up, you're gonna to wanna to get that fixed. Next, you're gonna to wanna to check the grading around your home. So you wanna make sure that all of the landscaping and dirt flow away from your home, not towards it because if it's flowing towards it, what'll end up happening is your water will pool around your foundation, which over time can cause the earth to get soft, which can then lead to cracking in your foundation and a deterioration of that stem wall. The next item is your roof. Now there's several different types of roof and they all require different types of maintenance. So with a flat roof, I recommend getting up there every single year. Bring a blower with you or a broom because what tends to happen is debris will accumulate in low spots and that can uh, impede the flow of water that's supposed to drain off your roof. That water will get trapped there and that can cause your roof to age much faster. You're also gonna wanna inspect for any holes or uh, blisters. Sun is super intense here in Arizona and that can cause your foam roof to blister, these like soft spots. Uh, and birds love to peck holes into foam roofs. So you're gonna to wanna to check that on an annual basis. Uh, foam roofs require a recoating every five years, uh, but if you're up there with a blower doing spot maintenance, you can definitely extend the life of those flat roofs. Now, if you have a tile roof, same thing. You're gonna to wanna to have probably a roofer get up there because walking on tile roof is really precarious and you can cause more damage to it, but have a actual roofer come out on an annual uh, basis to inspect for any cracked or slipped roof tiles. Oftentimes these roof tiles are held in place by gravity and again our earth it moves and so with the fierce storms that we have here those tiles can shift out of place, branches and debris can hit the roof causing them to crack and ultimately what that does is it exposes the underlayment. So the tiles will themselves typically last almost forever. It's that underlayment, that membrane underneath the tile that you wanna protect from the elements. And so when those tiles slip or crack out of place, it's exposing that to the elements and will cause your roof to age that much faster. You also wanna clean any debris. So it's not uncommon for debris to collect in valleys. So you wanna have a roofer go ahead and clean and remove all that debris. Same with bird poop. So birds will nest up on these roofs and they will do their business and that can cause your roof to age rapidly as well. Uh, so having that inspected every year is going to really greatly extend the life of your tile roof. And finally, asphalt shingle. So asphalt shingle tend to be on older homes. My house is newer. It also has asphalt shingle, so that's not always the case. That you're gonna to wanna to inspect, you can do it yourself every year. Check the granules uh, that are up there, make sure that you don't have any granule loss. Uh, make sure from all of our storms that they're not starting to peel back or have actually blown away. And then finally, all the roof penetrations, you wanna get up there with some roof tar and a paintbrush. It sounds complicated, but it's not. You've got all these vents that are sticking up out of your roof. You wanna make go around and make sure that those are all properly sealed and you just get a can of roof tar and a paintbrush and you just kind of paint it on those roof penetrations. Same with if you have a chimney, oftentimes those are sealed using roof tar. So just making sure that that uh, isn't cracked and deteriorating will also greatly extend the life of your roof and help prevent leaks. And finally, 
air conditioners and heaters. We are in Phoenix, it's super hot here, so you wanna make sure that your air conditioner is always running in its prime condition. So having that serviced every year is super important. You're gonna to wanna to have an actual HVAC person come out to uh, service and clean it. Um, and they should, you should definitely do your air conditioner on an annual basis. Heaters here, that life is much longer and they don't get used as much. So you could probably get away with doing that every couple of years rather than every year. Um, so I'd like to do the HVAC system in the spring and then you wanna do the heater as you're headed into the winter. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any home maintenance uh, on an annual basis that I may have missed, please let us know and leave it in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and we will see you next time.